I'm Kent from Craft Room Morphology. We're located in Lehigh Valley, Pennsylvania, and I'm next up. What's up, people? Welcome back to another episode of Next Up. If you didn't know, Next Up is my YouTube series where I bring someone on that is about to start their YouTube channel or just started their YouTube channel and introduce them to my audience, let you guys get to know them a little more, and then maybe they become your audience. And today we got Kent. How you doing, Kent? I'm good, Gershon. Thanks for having me on here. I no problem. It. No problem. So you mainly focus on ball pythons. You're about to get into ball python breeding, correct? Yeah, yeah. I actually, uh, I believe I have a girl that just did her prelay shed. So, oh, nice. Soon, I, I have another another pairing um, that you know I'm still working on, but hopefully they'll go this year. Um, yep. But I do have yep. a bunch of other animals as, as pets. I have bearded dragons, leopard geckos. I have a boa. Um, some fish, okay. tortoises. Well, you got a skink. small little zoo over there. Yeah, yeah I got a, a little zoo in this little apartment. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, since you just talked about your uh, female probably hitting her prelay shed, I guess we can go ahead and hit that first question because it rolls right into it. So, how long have you been breeding reptiles? Since that, those two locked up. <laughs> <laughs> First year, <laughs> let's go. First, first year um, <laughs> breeding reptiles. I do. I have. Um, I breed my own feeders, so I have dubia okay. roaches up here behind me. I have isopods. Okay. I'm breeding my own rats. So, I mean, I've had clutch or not clutches, litters, um, mm -hmm. or whatever you call insects having babies. Yeah, what do you call insects having babies? What, is there uh, a have, certain name for it? I don't know. I mean, there probably is, but I, I don't know. But I, I've been producing, started producing my own feeders because in the beginning of the pandemic, everybody had this, oh my God, I can't get, you know, super worms, dubia, isopods, yep. rats, whatever. So now I just do it in house. Totally makes sense. Totally makes sense. I am trying to get my wife to let me start breeding my own rats because it would definitely save on my rat bill. But then I'm debating on if I want to do that cleaning. Um, the breeding rats. It's not a lot of work if you have a smaller collection like I do. I don't have that many snakes, but you got to stay on top of it. You definitely got to stay on top of making sure they got water and food because they will yep. eat each other if they don't have those things. Yep, and, and that's what I experienced with my uh, first three litters. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just first time mamas or something with the food water situation. Excuse me. Um, so I lost the first three that litters that I produce here in my rat colony, but then from the fourth one on, you know, it started being good production. Okay. So I, have, I have two 1.2 uh, Norwegian rat colonies right now. Okay. So they're, yeah. they're, you know, putting out anywhere from 12 to, you know, 18. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Every, every so That's often, which is great. Good. So, That's pretty good. So we, good. <laughs> already it's, I'm seeing the rewards because, you know, I'm only spending, you know, let's say 20 bucks on bedding every, every quarter. And now I just bumped it up to a 50 pound bag of feed. So it, it's definitely cutting into my rodent pro or, you know, whomever I'm mm -hmm. buying frozen from because I, I have that production. I only need yep. to grow them out to smalls and that doesn't, yep. doesn't really take too long Yeah, you know, when you're feeding a snake once per week. Yeah. Well, you it's only definitely, need you'll get there real snake. fast. Exactly. Yeah. You'll get there fast and you'll still have extra rats for later. hundred percent. hundred percent. I've been, I've been able to, the ones that I, I have to unfortunately feed live to, I've been able to have the appropriate size rodent gotcha. and it's been great. Like since I've been doing this, my boa has grown so much and mm -hmm. it was a little like a corn snake looking boa for gotcha. two years and it's about to be three years old. So I, you know, if you had that food source readily available, it's amazing. Yeah, 
a hundred percent. And you know what you're doing with your rats. You know what you're feeding them. So you know what's going into the rats, which is eventually going into the snakes. Um, it's a it's 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 a peace of mind too, knowing like, oh, I know these rats are healthy because I bred them. Right, and you also know that you have a supply. I mean, oh, now never, I never would have, uh, you know, let my freezer dwindle to the point where, oh, I need to go to, you know, Petco and buy a ten dollar small rat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, that's frozen. <laughs> um, you know, I, it's just nice to have that peace of mind that if the world shuts down again, I have the stuff here. I mean, I might yep. not be able to find the rodent food, but there's other alternatives, that, you know, to keep them fed. Exactly. And, and with um, the insects, it's mainly the food scraps that I produce. Yep. So that's so, you know, you, you peel a potato, you peel a sweet <laughs> potato, throw it in. Let's go. All right. So, what is your goal for your channel? Honestly, it's another avenue for you know the projects I'm working on. I, my Instagram is somewhat successful. I think I have almost 1,800 followers right now, and that's pretty good for a guy that hasn't produced a snake. Mm, yeah. So, you know, I'll, I have a lot of people in the um, breeder community follow me, uh, a bunch of you know stupid logo accounts, but whatever. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, everybody sees it there. Facebook, not so much, because mm -hmm. everybody seems to stay away from Facebook. So this just gives me another places be like hey you want to see that snake is on this video here's that pair yeah. <laughs> you know here's me showing off or you know documenting you know that that snake is mine mm -hmm. um so yeah it, it's just to show what, what i do here uh, yeah. give you a you know the inside scoop yeah and i bet it comes it's going to come in real handy when you start producing animals so people can see like yeah these are het I, you can see the yeah, parent. Here, here, here's the, that cool. hypo female. <laughs> or here's that pied female. Here's that ultra male. Yeah. That everybody's seen too many times whenever I <laughs> show up on lives. Um, but yeah, it, it's just a, like I'm not lying if I produce this animal. It's exactly. Like, here's the parents. You exactly. go watch the video. Here's where I did the pairing video. Um, it that, definitely gives people that little bit more trust in you seeing that you did it also can see how you take care of your animals you yeah. can see how you keep your animals too that's also another vote of confidence of them sending you money for an animal that you produce one day and you they want to buy so i can definitely see that under 100 percent yeah you, you can see the hodgepodge of uh, my rack system behind me you can see the pvc uh enclosure with a boa over my shoulder i mean it, it's usually all here yeah, and then you see the growth from where you started to where you will end up eventually. Right, right. And so eventually, elevate. If I, if I measured it out right, an ARS rack fits right behind me. Or <laughs> fits right there, and I can you know, get rid of my uh, you know mom and pop shop uh, you know, mix and match, build it yourself stuff. I mean, totally we're understandable. All, we're, we're all we're all at a different point in you know what we can afford and what what we can do. So as long yeah. as you know, you can fit the tub. The snake can't get out. It's got the right heat and humidity. Mm -hmm. Who cares what it looks like? Mm -hmm. 100%. 100%. So, what channels help to inspire you to start your channel? So, I mean, th this is really difficult because I only started watching, like, the reptile YouTube stuff really recently. Since okay. I, I've, I've been on social media for that. So, I mean, way back, the original inspiration was, like, Steve Irwin. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's cliche, but I mean, that he, he's like, crikey, here's this crazy snake. I'm like, exactly. I mean, he, he's wrestling alligators, you know, whatever. I mean, this is cool. I, I came from a household. We had a, a cat that was a spawn of Satan when I grew up. So there were no normal pets allowed. So, mm -hmm. you know, we did a, a typical thing, you know, gerbils, hamsters, fish, yep. you know, that my parents consistently replaced. And, you know, I got really into snakes. So my, my parents uh, found a breeder uh, locally in Allentown that had an albino corn snake. And I got that, I think, around when I was seven or eight. And the damn thing lived until I was in college. Wow. Yeah, so I had that. And then when I was in high school, I met a buddy that had a bunch of animals. So that's sort of like minds, like animals. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I mean, that's what, what, what got me into it. Um, but... As far as YouTube channels, I mean, I, I started watching Snake Bites 
you know, Brian Barczyk stuff. I mean, any of the big guys mm-hmm. really. Um, but it was probably like Brian Barczyk's channels. Um, I got into Cusco, Camp Cannon. You know, the, okay. the people the people that have, uh, you know, stuff that I want or like, yep. what I aspire to in, in yep. the future. Like, you know, with, uh, with Cannon, I mean, he's got a whole, like, zoo on his property. I mean, that's kind of awesome. It is. It is. I mean, I, it looks like a lot of work, but it does look awesome. <laughs> yeah, but even even like the small collection I have now is a lot of work with a full time job and you know a, a social life outside of you know the social media reptile community. So it, it's you know it's something to like. I want to eventually be there, but you know it's nice to see somebody that cares for their animals and mm-hmm. has a bunch and is knowledgeable about them. Yeah. Yeah, I could totally understand that. I could totally understand. Those are a lot of good people to get inspired by and want to be not like them, but want to be inspired to do the things they've done and do it your own way and, you know, make your own way within this community. Because this is a massive community and there's so many different ways you can go with this community and do positive, amazing things in it. And, um, you're trying to do your own little part, and I like that. That's a great idea. It's a great idea. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, I have some stuff that's plain Jane. I have some stuff that's, you know, cool recessive projects for somebody my size. So, mm-hmm. you know, maybe I have this combination of genes that the world has never seen. I doubt it, but, you know, it could be a possibility that I actually, you know, prove that out. It's amazing that there are so many genes that we, have have had for years and haven't put them together and someone does it and you're like oh wow i forgot that was there and that's amazing <laughs> right right i mean you know you have some of these new projects well it's like okay i'm gonna put it with the, all these popular genes and then you have somebody that goes i'm gonna put it over here because i want to be the one that names that you know combo yeah nobody's done it and i'll be the one that has it and this, yep. you know this gene over here works well with most everything else so, you know, if it's not the most popular one right now, and it turns out that the snake is, you know, pretty cool looking visually, then that's awesome. Yeah. To be able true. to say, hey, I'm the one that made these ones. Very true. Very true. Well, Kent, uh, thank you for coming on. If you guys haven't already, which you guys are definitely going to do, go follow him, Craft Brew Morphology. His links are in the description. Go hit that follow button. His uh, Instagram is in the description, too, but definitely go check out one of his. Uh, I mean, you think you got, like, four videos now? I, I four, have four, four or five. Um, four most or five of them videos? Are, most of them are ball, ball pythons. There's one of how to set up a doobie colony, but okay. ma- mainly it's focused on ball pythons. Yeah, so if you're ball pythons, go check them out. If you're asking about uh, any insects he does have, ask him about that. He'll do a video on that. You never know. He, I, I definitely say he should do a video on his breeding of his rats because everybody's always asking questions on how you breed your rats and how you do this. He can definitely let you know how he does his because those videos do really well. And people are really interested in that because people want to breed their own rats sometimes. So definitely ask him about that as well. But definitely go hit his channel. Go watch some of his videos. He's starting out. He's getting feet wet with YouTube. So welcome him to the community. Let him know I sent you. Go check him out. Thanks again, Kent. Appreciate you coming on. Thanks for having me, Gershon. No problem. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. If you have someone that is about to start a channel or thinking about starting a channel, send them my way. Let them know about me, and maybe we get to talk to them, and we get them on YouTube as well. But appreciate you guys watching, and go check out some of his videos. All right, everybody. Peace out.